Hello, beautiful human design projectors. Okay, I am really pumped on the questions that you guys, <laughs> questions that you guys asked me. Um, and these were the same questions that I really had when I first found out that I was a projector. So I just, I've done so much research into this topic and I can't wait to really empower you around being a projector. So if you have more questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I absolutely love talking about being a projector. So um, no question is too silly. And this is like what I so needed when I first found out about it. So quick little background on me. I'm a man's Oh my God, I can't talk. I'm a mindset and manifestation teacher. Um, I have a podcast, Tara Burnett Mindset, and I also am a human design projector, one three. And I just really dove into human design a few months ago. And ever since I found it, I've been totally obsessed. So I'm just gonna answer the questions that you guys posted. Um, the first one was being a projector feels really disempowering at times totally understand that. And um, she asked, how can you strike a balance between going after your dreams and waiting for invitations? Also, how do you manifest being a projector? And then how can you take inspired action if you have to wait for an invitation? So I felt the exact same way when I discovered that I was a projector because I'm also an Aries and I have my own business and I love to take action. Um, so the first thing to understand is that being a projector is a huge blessing in disguise because you can still absolutely have everything you desire in terms of huge, massive dreams. And trust me, I've manifested a lot. So instead of feeling disempowered around like waiting for an invitation, think of it as like the easiest way ever to manifest because other, other types have to like keep taking action and they need to like kind of, you know, the term like throw spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. But like, since we have more limited energy, it is such a blessing for us. We get to conserve our energy. We don't have to keep throwing things at the, out, out there to see what's gonna work. Like we just have to discern between the invitations that come to us. And a, a note on invitations. So the other thing, um, and I think Bela is how you would pronounce her name, um, is so right in terms of like, you don't need permission or an invitation to create whatever the hell you want. So you don't need an invitation to follow the nudges and inspired actions. And a huge part of being a projector is sharing what we love. Um, and this is a really good kind of concept that I learned from Jenna Zoe, who is also a projector, human design projector, and a, and a human design expert. Um, the only thing we need an invitation for is like when we're sharing our gifts and it's directly involving others. So, and that just means like, don't start giving advice, unsolicited advice to people that haven't asked for it, but create courses, put things out there, start a podcast. Like that is all you like show up and share what you love because the people that are like following you on Instagram or following you on Facebook or joining your Facebook groups, like you guys have opted into my energy. And it's like, it's kind of like I have an invitation from you to share about this sort of topic. Um, I wouldn't like go into your DMs and be like, oh, you should buy this. But I do have like kind of the freedom to be like, oh, I'm putting this out there. And if you, if you want to follow up with it, awesome. If not, great. It's like, being a projector is really just sharing what you love and get and what you're so passionate about. And then the right, perfect people are going to eat it up and like die for what you're putting out there. So the only thing I wouldn't recommend is like, so I have my own podcast, I have my own business, all that stuff, but I don't like reach out to other podcasts and be like, oh, will you, will you have me on your podcast? I can invite them to be on my podcast, but it's like, you don't want to invite yourself to share things. Um, if that makes sense. But like, feel free to share uninhibitedly. It's just like when it's directly involving other people that haven't opted in, but people that are listening to your um, Instagram and Instagram stories and reading your posts, they, they've opted into your energy, share, share away. So I have a really good story about this because um, the right people, like when you share what you love, the right people are gonna resonate with you and find you and follow you and ask you and invite you to do things. So I have a friend that is super high up in Monate. Um, her name's Chelsea Newman. We were in Bali together on the manifest manifestation babe retreat, and she asked me. I forget how I forget what it was. Like a few, maybe like five months ago, to do a chat about manifestation for her Monate team, and she invited me, and it was amazing. Over 500 people showed up. It was just like this huge deal, and she invited me, and it was easy. 
And then a few months later, I, because we're friends, like I reached out to her and I was like, do you want to do another chat? And it was like, I had invited myself and you know what happened? She said yes, but then she forgot about it. Only 50 people showed up. It was totally like low vibe, low energy. It just was not aligned at all. And it was because I was, I was reaching out to her in a, in kind of like a neediness of like, I was trying to sell a course. And like, I thought maybe like, what if these women, it was like all a good intentions, but it's the, it was the exact same thing. And it was like being invited 500 people that were obsessed with my energy and so excited and like opted into like everything I was offering versus when I put it out there and it was like lame. <laughs> so the, I think like in terms of inspired action, go for it as long as it isn't directly involving others who haven't like asked for your advice. Like you wouldn't go to a talk and then after the person's done, you just like walk up on stage and share your piece because that would be quite repelling and needy. But when you stay in your light and shine, you are going to have more invitations than you ever imagined. So, and manifesting as a projector is the same as any other type. And like manifestation is, is my jam. Like this is what I know. Um, and it just gets to be easier for us. So set your intentions, live in the frequency of your desires being done and follow the nudges and impulses that come to you. And I think the best way to know how to move forward as a projector and with like inspired in terms of inspired action is would I do this regardless of the outcome? Because if you're doing it to make money or if it's like a means to an end, you aren't in alignment. Um, but if you're simply sharing and creating and putting out what you love, you will find it comes back to you tenfold. And I've totally noticed this in my own life in terms of creating things I love and selling them versus like if I'm like, oh God, I need to make some money. Like, let's just put this out here. It's like, no, it never works. Um, so everyone that follows me on like Instagram and Facebook or is in my groups, like they've opted into my energy. It's kind of like an open invitation. So I just share and know that the right people are going to purchase what like my offerings are. And like, I run a very successful projector friendly business. So if you are a projector and you're looking to start a business, I just like really want to encourage you because um, I've had two really successful six figure businesses. I used to own a gym and then I transitioned to completely online and I've done it the whole time really honoring. Like when I first started, I, um, didn't know I was a projector and I definitely was, um, but I've ne I've kind of always intuitively like, um, done things a projector way, but the more I like let go and just trusted and like nap every single day and work less hours, like the more successful I've become and the more money I make. So I just really want to you guys to trust that you could be wildly successful as a projector. Like we are meant to be successful. That is our like, what is it called? Um, there's like our, what is it called? It's like, um, our theme. There's like, people like, forget what it's called but like we are literally like our everything we want in life is to be successful we are designed to be successful but we just need to learn to trust so I hope that answered that first question the next one as a projector do others ever feel like people don't know the real them like we have so many interests and thoughts and ideas but don't always share any tips I totally get that and I find that the best way for me to do that is to share with people who have opted into my energy like Instagram stories are my favorite way to really share Instagram posts podcasting like you are so free to share what you love you just don't want to go around giving unsolicited advice even though you know exactly what they should do and you're totally right. Um, so I think like, I felt that at first, but the more, it's funny, like our silence is our superpower because the more we kind of sit back and just know that we are wise, we know the answers, um, the more people come to us, but it's when we're trying to like go around and push things on other people and share that we repel them with our energy because it's almost like we don't trust the universe to bring us the invitations and we're coming off as like needy and repelling. So the more you can sit back and trust, you're gonna have more invitations than you can possibly handle. Um, the next question was, I guess I feel frustrated about being tired and pushing myself I've spent my whole life pushing past my supposed weakness. How do I come to terms with accepting the limits of my power? Okay, first of all, 
I'm the queen of pushing and pushing and pushing myself to exhaustion. But also, this is not a weakness and this is a blessing and you have zero limits to your power. I like really want to get that across because when I first found out I was a projector, I kind of thought the same thing. I was like, well, how the hell am I supposed to be successful if I have to wait for an invitation? But it's actually not as confusing or hard as you think in terms of the whole invitation thing. So you'll find that once you like let go of the pushing and just realize that you can live in alignment, like everything comes so easily to you. Like people are going to be annoyed at you because I feel like everything comes easier to us when we live in alignment, but it's when we're like not trusting and when we're pushing and when we're trying to force it and we don't think like things are going to work out for us that, that we make it really hard on ourselves. But when you can like sit back and just chill, oh my gosh, it can be so easy. So when you think that you have to like push past your weakness and work harder and do more, you're really not in alignment with your human design and you're not trusting that the universe totally has your back and it gets to be so easy and fun when you are a projector. So you really just want to like rest more, play more. This has happened to me so many times, you guys. I will be like um, pushing, 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 working so hard, like developing a launch, something that I'm so passionate about. And then the minute I just like let go and I'm like, okay, I'm exhausted. I'm just going to read my book all day and sit and hang out. I'll have all these payments come through. Like people will find me randomly and purchase my biggest package in full and I'll get like a $2,000 payment and I didn't do any advertising. I'm like, okay, Tara, when are you going to learn just to relax. Um, and I feel like what could possibly be better than like showing up and doing what you love and then getting massively compensated for doing that. So I think being a projector is really all about leaning into the faith that all the invitations are coming to you in absolutely perfect timing. Um, and then the next question was, I really want to understand, wait for the invitation. I get that I should never push sales on someone and the bigger things. I get confused about the things in the middle. Don't know if that makes any sense, but what around friends or family? If I, for example, see the things happening in the world right now in another way than they do, should I wait for them to ask me how I think or should I just share? Excellent question. So, I mean, here's the thing, like there's hundreds of people around the world who have no idea about human design and like you can do whatever the hell you want. I have been on both sides where before I knew I was a projector, I used to really try and push, like talk about manifesting and push my opinions on my friends and stuff like that without being asked. And I found it just creates like a whole bunch of resistance and then they don't really hear me and then I get bitter. Um, and But when I just sit back and continue sharing my energy to people that want to know about it, like on my Instagram and stuff like that, um, then my friends start asking me all the time for my opinions and I was actually quite shocked about that. So think of yourself as like you are a wise, wise Yoda and your silence is so powerful and it draws people in to ask your opinion. But when you continue sharing without being asked, we typically re repel people and that's what creates that bitterness which is our not self theme. So know that you have the answers and the perfect people are going to ask when you can be patient long enough for them to come to you. So I just really want like you guys to understand how powerful it is to be a projector, how amazing it is. Like we have the best of all the worlds. It gets to be so much easier for us. We get to rest more. We get to take naps. We get to create businesses that we love. And it's all about for us like showing up in our light and being in our light and loving what we do and then people will flock to you and I've really seen this to be true like my husband is also a projector and it's incredible like he's never had to advertise a day in his life and he had a nine month wait list for his like osteopathy practice um and it's just because he sits in the comp he he didn't even like know about any of this stuff really before I met him, but he just is so confident in himself and that is the thing with being a projector like if there's anything that you feel like you want to dive into in terms of like being a better projector, work on your self worth and like step into that self love, know your worthiness. Um, I found it to be super effective. One of my friends got me to start doing like a daily acknowledgement practice every day and just acknowledging myself for like how awesome I am because when we know our worth, other people recognize our worth. But if we are sitting there like, please notice me, please notice me, please invite me, like that's not gonna get you any invitation. So step into your worthiness, recognize how incredible and amazing you are and what you have to offer is so amazing. And just like keep sharing genuinely and follow the inspired actions that you would take regardless of the outcome. So just really watch out for like, is this a means to an end that I'm just doing this to make money? Or is this something I would do no matter what? Because the things that I end up putting out there that I'm like, I would do this no matter what is like 
wildly successful versus the things that um, I just try to put out there in like a stage of desperation. And I've had this happen so many times in terms of my business where um, actually just last month. So this is such a good example. So last month I was feeling super worried and stressed and anxiety around money. Okay, this is like a pretty crazy story. And um, usually it's like very, I usually have money or payments coming in every day. So the first two weeks of September, I'd set the intention for a 40k month and then I had no payments come in for two weeks. And I was freaking out. Like I was I've never been so worried before and my credit card was like reaching its limit and I was just not in a feeling not in a feel good place around money so of course I was like well what can I do and I I launched a course that I did not actually want to launch but I was doing it because I was like feeling desperate and I was waiting for the invitation and here's the other thing about invitations invitations just like Vela said are it doesn't have to be a direct invitation from someone or a person it can be like this inspired idea that comes to you that you're like so excited about and like I said you know you should follow it if you do it regardless of the outcome so then I launched it launched that one that didn't really feel good I two people signed up it was just like a totally shitty launch and then a few days later which I wish I had just waited I had this really amazing idea for something called the manifestation experiment and then I ended up selling like 18k in a week and a half or something and if I had just waited it, it probably could have been even more but we don't know so if I can give you any advice learn to be patient and I'm the least patient I'm the least patient person ever so trust me on that and know that the ideas will come when you leave space for them to come but when you're constantly trying to figure out the how or force the how um, you're not letting the nudges or invitations come in. It's like you're blocking everything because you're thinking like, I know the best way, I have to do it this way. And you're not seeing that there's so many other options. So being a projector is really about leaning into that faith, leaning into the knowing and trust and the certainty that like the ideas will come, the guidance will come, the people will come. And um, know that you can share everything you want um you don't need to feel restricted in following those inspired actions and like my six su most successful things have just been like ideas that popped into my head like fully formed courses on like a walk or just being out in the world or whatever it wasn't like somebody messaged me and was like you should offer this it was more so like guidance from the universe or whatever you want to call it but regardless it felt so good to me to put it out there no matter what i hope that answers your questions keep the projector questions coming um i would love to create a course about being a projector in business especially like having our own businesses so um yeah i would love to help anyone message me whatever you need to know and i'll talk to you guys soon Mwah.